In this video I want to give some tips about how to make a power supply for a somewhat higher voltage and then stabilized without hum going to approximately 120 volts. This is a demo circuit. This works uh, up to 56 volt and this is the back side from the circuit. Transformer. Here is the potentiometer, sets the voltage. Here are two capacitors. Uh, together, 1000 uh, microfarad. And here is the stabilizer unit. Or, in fact, the unit with which I can set the um, voltage and current. When you want to make such a power supply, it's a good idea to use special high voltage transistors. I have a few of them salvaged from old TV sets. This is a good one, the BUW13A. And um, these transistors have one very important property, and that is that their base voltage can get higher than their collector voltage. All transistors, normal transistors, will fail when the base voltage gets too high, they will burn out immediately. So when the collector emitter volt is um, lower than the base voltage. And here you see that with the BUW, uh, the base voltage can get collector base 1000 volts. So that's uh, one of the important properties from high voltage transistors and also a good property is that they are able to um, switch inductive loads. And inductive loads also give, al always give high peak voltage in the circuit and they can damage the transistor easily. Also a good uh, high voltage transistor is the 2SC2333. And uh, you have to connect them in a Darlington configuration. And the first test that you always uh, must do in that case is whether the amplification from the Darlington is enough. And you may um, uh, find that amplification by multiplying the uh, amplification factor from the one uh, transistor by the amplification factor from the second transistor. So when they both are 10, the total current amplification here is 100. One problem with these transistors is that they uh, don't have a very high current amplification. And then I mean that it is not easy to measure that current amplification. So the best thing to do is make a test circuit uh, with two high voltage types Add a protective resistor here, and this is only an example, and here is the load. And the first thing to do is to uh, make a provisory test whether uh, the whole circuit works fine. Uh, on higher voltages there are bigger risks of shortcut, uh, so here I have the protective resistor from 240 ohms. And that's calculated in a very simple way. Um, let's say the maximum current is 500 milliampere, the maximum voltage is 120 volt, and then we find by Ohm's law that this is the resistor where this uh, maximum current belongs to. So that's very easy to find out. This potentiometer sets the voltage on the base, there's a very small voltage drop here. And here we have the output voltage. This provisory uh, circuit is the first uh, that you can do to find out whether the uh, both high voltage transistors have enough amplification to drive the load properly. When you find out this, you can make it in a more uh, definite way. By the way, when you add a capacitor here, you will see that the hum suppression is extreme. A high um, value capacitor gives an extreme hum suppression 
when you add a Zener diode here, this must be a quite heavy one, one watt or so, and you will see a stabilized voltage at the output. That also depends on the current amplification from the Darlington, so you have to do some experiments. This resistor is very important. It protects the whole circuit against a too high base current. Very important. If not, your Darlington will burn out. So back to this circuit. It was made according to these principles. And here you see the stabilizer. It's the BUW12A high voltage transistor. This is the circuit. I hope it's visible. I first show the first part. Bridge rectifier, 1000 volts diode, good capacitor, good uh, voltage here, it's 100 volt in this case, that's good. When you have 120 volts, of course, this capacitor must be 150 volt, rated for 150 volt. Here's the Darlington with two high voltage transistors. Here is the, the setting from the output voltage. I added a cap from 10 microfarad here. To suppress the hum and this is the output circuit to take away all the noise etc from the output line. I've made this circuit once for a tube circuit on 120 volts so I think it's a useful circuit. Hope it's still visible at this distance. These are the connections that I've used between the two high voltage transistors. And of course this circuit is only suitable for small currents, let's say up to 100 milliampere or so at its maximum. Also these currents here for these power transistors are not real. They are quite high, far too high. In real this will be for instance 1 ampere or 2 ampere at a voltage from 300 or 400 volts. That's real. And even that is too much. 